This is the Polestar 5, a four-door performance Grand Tourer EV with up to 884 horsepower and an 800 volt architecture to match. Born from the Precept concept, it's the future Polestar promised, now in production form. Polestar has officially revealed the production-ready version of the 5. Think of it as a flagship that ties together the brand's design, in-house powertrain development, and sustainability goals. CEO Michael Lonscheller calls it a guiding star for the industry. And today we're gonna to break down design, interior tech, the performance architecture, and the powertrain, plus charging and availability. The 5 stays remarkably faithful to the precept, the concept on which it's based. The look is all modern minimalism, taut surfaces, no extra fluff, and it's inspired by aviation. The car is sort of meant to resemble a wing, and you can see that in the profile on out to the cam style tail. Up front, a low nose with what Polestar calls the smart zone. This is where key sensors live, flanked by dual blade headlights with pixel LED tech. The stance is set off prop early courtesy of the front suspension layout that lets the hood line sit unusually low relative to the wheels. Along the sides, gloss black or shade cladding works to visually lower the body. The overall height is just 56 inches, which is about the same as a BMW M3. Flush, frameless glass and retractable door handles clean up the aero, and the resulting coefficient of drag is just 0.24. Out back, there's an aero-efficient light bar with vent details and an integrated diffuser to help airflow. Color palette, we've got six choices, including two matte paints, Storm, which is a dark gray, and Magnesium, which is like a light silver. Polestar pushed the rear header structure behind passengers' heads and uses a digital rear view mirror with a virtual rear window, a trick borrowed from the Polestar 4, so you get the sleek roof line without sacrificing rear space. And speaking of light, this is Polestar's largest panoramic glass roof yet, just over six feet long and four feet wide. Inside, Polestar calls it a four plus one layout, primarily a luxurious four-seater that can become a less comfortable five-seater when you raise the rear armrest. Recaro's for the front seat buckets with the standard trim being charcoal microtech, or you can step up to bridge of wear nappa leather in charcoal or zinc. Doing so adds ventilation and massage to the standard heated, power adjustable thrones. Rear passengers can control the four zone climate settings, seat heating, ventilation and massage, and individual recline. There's a cutout in the battery Polestar has dubbed the foot garage. It's behind the front seat and frees up foot space for better seating position for those in the back. Driver ergonomics are more performance focused. Low slung seating, an upright wheel you can pull in close, a nine inch driver display mounted on the steering column so it's always in your line of sight, and a nine and a half inch head up display. Sitting center stage is a 14 and a half inch portrait display running Android Automotive OS with Google built in. You get four customizable dynamic tiles under the maps and a shortcut tile with up to six favorite functions. There's a rotary audio controller on the center console with lockable storage beneath. As for audio options, you have the standard 10 speaker Polestar high performance system or a 21 speaker Bowers and Wilkins setup packing 1,680 watts. There's also ambient lighting, a rear sound bar, and active road noise cancellation to make the interior vibes that much more appealing. Driver assist is, as you'd likely guess for a Polestar product, robust. Pilot assist can manage speed and lane position up to 93 miles an hour. In total, there are 11 cameras, one driver monitoring camera, one mid-range radar, and 12 ultrasonic sensors. You also have eight airbags and interior radars that detect occupants to tailor restraint deployment in case of an accident. Underneath is bonded aluminum for the platform, which means the Polestar 5 is sort of like an Aston Martin in a way. It's a platform that is both light and rigid with torsional rigidity higher than some seriously sporty machines. Still, sustainability plays a role here because that's part of Polestar's mission. The platform is constructed using 13% recycled aluminum and 83% from smelters using renewable energy. The 112 kilowatt hour nickel manganese cobalt battery is structural and you can use 106 kilowatt hours of that pack. The chassis also features a front double wishbone suspension setup and lightweight 15.7 inch front rotors with Brembo four piston calipers. Suspension tune depends on the spec. 
The dual motor uses BWI passive dampers with internal rebound springs, while the performance model runs BWI MagnaRide adaptive dampers that read the road up to 1,000 times per second and react in around three milliseconds. Tires are bespoke Michelins with wheels ranging from 20 up to 22 inches. Polestar developed its rear motor in-house, and that motor alone is good for more than 600 horsepower and 486 pound-feet of torque. Total system output on the Polestar 5 Performance is 884 horsepower and 749 pound-feet of torque, which allows for a 0 to 60 mile per hour in 3.1 seconds. Word on the street is people that have already gotten a bit of seat time in these cars, the car is actually quicker than that. The dual motor version is rated at 748 horsepower, 599 pound-feet of torque, and does the 0 to 60 dash in 3.8 seconds. Both are electronically limited to a top speed of 155 miles per hour. The Polestar 5 is built on an 800 volt architecture and supports up to 350 kilowatt DC fast charging. 10 to 80% can take as little as 22 minutes on a working charger that's doling out the juice with the quickness. There's also an external state of charge indicator on the C-pillar. The Polestar 5 is available to order now in select markets. North American pricing and availability will be announced later. Hopefully not too much later, as this thing looks pretty darn awesome. It certainly won't be inexpensive though. That's for sure.